Hi guys. In this video, you will find several solutions that could easily fix the game bar not working in Windows 10. You can easily access using the Windows plus G combination on your keyboard, which many of us use to record our screens, or record gameplay and stuff like that. In this video, I'm going to try to show you a few solutions in case you were a game bar is not working not opening, or not responding. First of all, make sure the game bar is actually activated on your system. So just click on the Windows button, and then click on Settings here. Select Gaming. And then go and click on the Xbox Game Bar. And here where it says Enable Xbox Game Bar for things like recording game clips, chatting with friends, and receiving game invites. Make sure you have enabled Xbox Game Bar. Notice that, in the full screen games, the game bar is not showing. But that doesn't mean it is not working so in full screen games. You can use the combination, Windows, plus, Alt, plus R to start, or stop the recording. And of course those recordings will be saved in the default location. But if you cannot record, and there is a problem with the game bar, I think that it can do and can be very helpful in this situation is to reset the Xbox app using the settings app. Just click on the start button. And then click on the settings icon. Here go down a bit and click on apps. And go and scroll down a bit to Xbox Game Bar. Click on it, and then click on Advanced Options. And down a bit you have the Reset section. If this app isn't working right, we can try to repair the app's data won't be affected. You can click on Repair for that. And if this app isn't working right, reset it. The app's data will be deleted, I recommend you clicking on the Reset button. This will completely reset all the settings. And you should be good to go after you reset this app. In addition to this, you can also use the terminate section which will terminate the Xbox Game Bar's processes. So you can use it as well and after that you restart the system to try to see if this fixes it. Another thing that you can try is to open up the search box. And type in here gpedit. Click on edit group policy. Under computer configuration, expand administrative templates. And then Windows components. And then go down a bit to Windows Game Recording and Broadcasting. Click on it. You have here enables or disables Windows Game Recording and Broadcasting. Double click on it. And make sure it is set on enabled. Click on apply and then on OK. After all the things that I show you in this video, try to restart the system and check to see if the problem is fixed. I'm hoping that this video will help you if it didn't and maybe you have another solution or you found out another.